What's up everyone, this is Joe Savvy bringing you a StarCraft 2 Terran build order this video, and um, thanks everyone, thanks to all the tens of fans and all that other stuff. This is a TBT matchup between myself, Joe Savvy, and my opponent, uh, PBOD AFI. So my opponent's AFI, I don't know what's with all these clans nowadays, everybody's got to be in clan, I'm not, see, just plain old Joe Savvy, I should be like, Savvy Joe Savvy. That, that would be interesting. Uh, not with Vuvuzela today, but uh, we'll be bringing you lots of content and that type of thing. So, yeah. Yeah, so this is a 111 build order. Spoiler alert, we're going to go into my vision for this point. Not follow my camera because it kind of gives me a headache if I'm not doing it. Uh, GG, have fun, good luck. So in TVT in particular, I've been, you know, I've been getting cheesed, or I've been getting attacked uh, really early, and if I open with a standard marine opening or go for a super fast expand, uh, I die more often than not. So what I've really transitioned into is opening pretty much 1-1-1 one, one, one every game. So we start with a 10 depot, a 12 refinery, and we'll follow that up with a 13 barracks. Now there's always a chance for cheese. There's a chance of, you know, a reaper all in, a double marauder proxy, or something like that. But you take them and you give them, you lose games and you win games. Just in case, I'm scouting out across the map to see if he's fast expanding or if I can get up inside of his base just to see if he has gases one or two. Uh, generally, it's just one at this point. So as soon as your refinery completes, you get uh, you saturate it. A little bit late on the barracks. I, I get it close to 14, or at least the 14th SCV in production, so 13 SCVs on the field. Uh, but you can get it right around 13, so it's not going to really hurt my build order. In fact, it'll actually give me a few more minerals because I uh, I left them on the mineral line for a little bit longer. Just my uh, attack will come a little bit later. So poking up, and I'm only scouting for a couple things. Um, I don't know why I ended up doing that. Okay, so usually I don't even attack. I just go straight for the gas, see what, what it is. But I wanted to see if he wanted to try to block me off. So I scout, okay, there's one refinery, now it's time to go back home, and sadly I think I lose, no I don't, I don't lose my SC, uh, yeah I do. Yep, I hate it when that happens, he caught me. Okay, so barracks is being complete, uh, following completion, I'm getting a refinery, and because my barracks is a little bit late, um, I don't get it until about 17, 18 supplies, so usually it pops right around 16, and you can get it done, but let's see, we have a marine in production, we'll be getting two marines, you start your factory as soon as your, your barracks completes, because you'll have uh, 100 gas. First uh, marine out there, you want to use it to try to pick off this SCV if possible. In this case, I think I actually get him. He's like running around for no reason. I'm just going out to try to scout and see what I got. We'll see that I have a factory in a minute. Well, I did see it, but anyway, going up, going to pick it off. Uh, when the second barracks completes, and the factory completes, we'll start our star putt production. Uh, this second refinery was created right around the three-quarter mark of this factory. So, or the second refinery was created right around the three-quarter mark of the factory. Uh, as we start our starport, we're getting a reactor. A little bit late on the refinery, but not too bad. Uh, the second depot went down right around 18 supply, and getting a tech lab on the factory as the starport's about half complete. So. That's all you need to, to really pay attention to. If you want to watch the time, that's fine. You know, it was like 4 something, 4.30 or something like that. But really, it, it just just look at it like a build order. Now, I'm taking my Marines. I mean, not a build order. Look at it like a, a series of events. So, starport's half complete. Build a tech lab on the factory. So, then lift off your factory. Drop it down and build a tech lab on the factory. And then swap your starport onto the, uh, the tech lab. And we'll begin Banshee production. A little bit short on the gas because my refinery is a little late, but still close enough. First Banshee will start cloak as soon as we have 100 gas. Boom. Okay, and now it's time to uh, start double marine production. So as you swap, then you have actual you have minerals to start uh, start marines. And in this case, I don't get a Hellion, but sometimes uh, I end up getting a Hellion just for early defense. But we have our first Banshee. We have cloak. It's not time to start tank, start tanks, so don't start tanks yet. Uh, second, uh, second supply depot went down at 22 supply, I believe, and this third one's coming down around 28, 29. So he pokes up, he tries to do some kind of cheese, and that's okay because I have a ton of SCVs. Just use them, just attack into this. Uh, you need your SCVs so you don't die. If you lose all your army, and you'll end up losing a lot more workers. So with all that work that he did, he only ended up killing seven, seven workers. Um, 
In the grand scheme, he is ahead 24 to 19 SCVs, but still he lost most of his defending force. So my Banshee's allowed to move freely across the map. Um, so if he had stayed home and defended, I'd have a lot harder time of uh, getting my Banshee across the field. But this is kind of the kind of thing that happens in regular games. You know, people go out, they try to poke, they try to kill you, that type of thing. Uh, so as you start the second Banshee, you begin tank production. As you have the gas, of course. Uh, you need to get the second Banshee out because you want to poke around. And as my Banshee arrives, Cloak finishes, so I can poke up and try to kill as much as possible. So I get some good intel. I scout that his uh, tech lab on his Banshees, or tech lab on the starport. Uh, cloaked right away to, to limit the damage done by that Widow Mine. Poke up, try to kill all his Marines, and then go straight for the mineral line. And I scout, hey, there's no um, engineering base, so he doesn't have turrets, he doesn't have detection. He doesn't have enough Marines to defend against the Banshee, so that's hard for him. Uh, so I'll pick off as much as possible. He was able to kill seven workers. I'm up to three, and I get his uh, Widow Mine and all of his army. More workers. Raven shows up. He's going to drop auto turret. Just run away from it. It's fine. It's not going to kill you as long as you run away. Uh, his Banshee shows up, and that's why we got our Engineering Bay at six minutes. Built the turret in the middle of the line as soon as it completed. Factory completing, uh, first Viking in production as well. You want Vikings to help deal with his uh, his widow mi or with his banshees, especially when we do our follow-up tank push. Uh, second banshee's not really doing anything. First one, I'm kind of microing. I should have grabbed the second one earlier and could have done even more damage. So I know I can't really attack into his mineral line now. So I'm just gonna go straight for his uh, supply depots in the front. Now he has a couple marines, but that's fine. Banshees could kill a couple marines. Uh, if he drops an auto turret, it's a good idea to run away. And because the raven's there, there's no point in cloaking. So just save your energy. Back home, right around 9 minutes. If he hadn't attacked me, I would have been able to attack a little bit earlier. But you attack with your marine tank army. And just push right across the field. And because I can't really attack over here, because I'm assuming he has more defenses, uh, I'm just taking out his depots in the front. And hanging out in places that I can attack. So you don't need to lose your banshees. You just kind of run them away and... They'll get whatever kills they can. I scout a mule and a SCV, and I'm going to kill that. And then my army is moving across the field at the same time. And once you have tank marine moving across the field and your opponent doesn't, then he's in pretty bad shape, he or she. Viking going up, trying to pick off that raven. I think he's going to save it, but still. Uh, getting a turret so I can help, so I can get vision on his banshees. I saw that he had cloak. So instead of getting my own raven, I'm just going to build a turret in, uh, in range. Uh, tank position, I think I probably should have sieged up over here. But either way, it's not going to kill me. So uh, so he's going to obviously try to all in, pull all his SCVs and do some kind of damage. But really, none of his uh, units can shoot up. And I just use a cloak, and I'm going to pick off pretty much everything he's got. So his cloak banshee is going to kill my tank. But I still I have units continuously streaming across the map. So this is pretty much the end of the game. Um, go up to 2, 4x or whatever, just to show that as I stream across the map, drop a scan just to see what he's got, he's still got his expansion, he's going to drop his viking and you know it's dire straits when you drop a viking. Unseize the tank because at close range tanks can't attack, just focus down killing as many SCVs as possible and it's pretty much going to be a GG. Next wave. Drop your Vikings. Vikings do well against unupgraded Marines. Drop scans as you need. And just poke up, and that's it. So this is a 1-1 build order, and um, obviously a perfect build order is ideal and that type of thing, and if you're un untouched, you could push out earlier with a stronger force, but uh, if you get some kind of harassment or aggression against you, then you'll need to vary your build, as I did. Uh, in fact, I think I even dropped a, uh, yeah, I did a supply drop somewhere in the middle because I was so focused on the micro that I forgot to build a supply depot so that is it thanks for watching um, if you have any questions or suggestions leave it in the comment section below and always like and subscribe thanks for, wa thanks for watching guys